Hello. The weather is starting to get a bit warmer here as we head into summer and just recently I bought a plane that should be able to make good use of that thermal activity, here's hoping. Um, the plane itself has not arrived yet, it should be here any day, but I came across this Arduino based sailplane variometer which looked very interesting, or well, sounded very interesting and when I looked at it I saw how incredibly simple it was. So I thought I'd build one and basically it was done in about 20 minutes and it was working great. So I thought I'd make a little video about this. It's probably not really worth making a video because quite a few other people have made videos about it already. And if you spend about 30 seconds on Google looking for the same thing, you would have come across this anyway. Um, There's a little circuit diagram. I managed to get away with even less than that. Uh, but if you look at this thread, I'll put a link to this in the description. You can go and take a look. Um, there's some demonstrations there. And this one here um, shows you what sounds it makes. Um, it sort of makes the sounds that I prefer as well. There's some different variations of sounds that these things can make, but um, this one makes a continuous tone when it's descending and an intermittent tone when it's uh, um, ascending. And of course the beeps rise in pitch and frequency when it's ascending as well. And this is the code here. Look at the code. This is it. Let me scroll down. That's the entire sketch. Um, you will need an MS561 barometer, but if you're going to be doing any serious pressure sensing, that's what you're going to be wanting to use anyway. They are quite a bit better than most of the other barometers in that price range. So, yeah, you can look at this, um, and I'll just show you in this video what I've put together and how it worked for me. I haven't actually put it onto a glider yet. I just put it on my Tech Sumo and flew it around for a bit. Um, but let's just have a quick look at it. So I made it with a... Arduino Pro Mini and all you need is those four connections there for the I squared C barometer and I pulled this off one of my other aircraft and I already had a nice foam box and you can see down in there there's cotton wool all packed into that space there uh, so this is a good idea and the black also keeps the sunlight out too it's just very very nice and light weighs almost nothing so um, this whole thing could be quite a bit smaller if it wasn't for the size of that foam box, but I managed to just sort of get it all into that space there. And on the back, there is a voltage divider. So this is ground and pin 2, I think, in that order. And I've put a 4.7K and a 1.5K resistor on there. This is just so that the tone or the pitch that's coming out is not going to be all the way up to 5 volts because I'm putting it into my FPV transmitter over here. That's what this green wire is. This is the audio wire of the FPV transmitter. Um, you could, I suppose, um, while I was testing, I just used one of these, um, what are these called, 5 volt buzzers, a continuous buzzer. And that was handy just to check that it was working before I bothered trying to hook it up to FPV. Um, but this is reasonably loud loud enough I think that you could just use one of these and instead of using that voltage divider just stick that directly onto your ground and pin 2 um, provided that your FPV transmitter has a microphone on it sorry I should have said that at the beginning if your FPV transmitter has a microphone on it this one doesn't but if yours does you might be able to just get away with just putting one of these on your aircraft and listen to the sound directly uh, you'd probably want to put it inside the plane somehow so that's out of the wind or the microphone of the FPV transmitter is out of the wind and it's not going to make you listen to a kind of noise like that all the time. Um, but I I preferred to make it go through the FPV audio, so that's what I've done here. This is not the transmitter I'll be using probably, um, but it worked quite well. And the important thing was that I had not cut the audio wire off it as I have done with a lot of my other video transmitters. I decided I'm never going to use audio and I just cut these off so that they don't get in the way. But this one, fortunately, still had the audio wires ready to use. So that's what I tested today, and it worked brilliantly. And on the ground, I was just using the headphone output jack of my Fat Shark goggles and some little headphones to listen to it. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick test on the Tech Sumo. Uh, it's not very well attached, like there's plenty of airflow that can get in there, which is probably going to disturb it a little bit. And it's also quite windy up there, as you can see, maybe. So I'm not expecting it to give me very nice results, and this is not a you know, thermal soaring plane anyway, although this, this particular build is very light, and I only have a 3S1000 amp, milliamp hour battery on there, so it's quite light. 
probably less than 500 grams I think, or almost 500 grams maybe. Um, but I just wanted to check before I do that, uh, let me power it up, just wanted to check if you are going to be able to hear the beeping because I've put one of these right next to the hat cam there, right next to the microphone. And if I power everything up, through my goggles. Wow, it's actually, when you come outside, it's actually very quiet. So I have to put this other one in my ear to actually hear anything. Hmm. <laughs> actually, I'm getting a little bit worried that you might not be able to hear this on the camera, so let me just go inside and check and see if it's going to be loud enough. Okay, I just went and checked this inside, and it turns out that it's probably loud enough for you to hear, as long as I'm not talking over the top of it. And uh, I also noticed that when the wind blows, even just sitting here, it's actually affecting it quite a bit, so... Probably not the perfect situation, but... Let's just see what it does when I'm raising and lowering it in my hand like this. Wow, so it really goes crazy even on just like a meter and a half of vertical change. Let's lift it up real quick. <laughs> Works well though, doesn't it? So you just got to keep in mind that even when it sounds like you're getting super, super awesome lift, it's actually just a little bit of lift. Ah, oh, look at that, the airspeed is affecting it. So I'll just turn around to face the wind and then turn the motor off. Okay, cutting the motor here. I think I messed up the CG by putting that run cam 2 on the front. It's not not gliding nearly as well as it does normally. Let's see if we can cut the motor here. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> I just left the throttle on and pitched down a bit to see if it would... to see if it was just the airspeed that was doing that, or it was actually altitude, but it seems like... Oh, there's a plane above me. Can you see that? Just up there? 
Don't worry, <laughs> it's a long way above me. Just gave me a fright for a second. Oh, it looks like we're actually doing better up here. Uh, it's just... I just realized that the um, the airspeed doesn't really matter because the Vario is ch sensing the change in pressure, isn't it? So as long as you keep a constant forward airspeed, uh, it's still giving you the change in air pressure which is going to amount to the change in altitude. So it's only when you change airspeed significantly for a moment that you get a, um, a false reading on the, on the barometer. Okay, motor off. Whoa, it's plummeting like a stone! Look at that! Jeez! Seems like when you go too, when you sink too quickly, it sort of overloads the numbers somehow, and you get that high pitch tone. I'll see if I can show you again. See so if I let the throttle off and then dive. Hear that? <laughs> it's like it's flatlining. <laughs> I guess you could consider that to be an emergency indicator, eh? Looks like it's coming straight down. Alright, I think you get the idea. Seems to be working quite well. Let me just take it up really high and see if there's any difference in thermals. <laughs> thermals. I think it's a bit late in the day to be finding any decent thermals.
Plus this plane is not really built for it. Okay. Alright, so I think I'll just glide this to the ground and then finish the video. Wow, listen to it. I didn't think it was coming down that quickly, but now that I can hear it in my ear, it's flatlining, look. Man, this plane sucks for gliding. So yeah, I'm quite eager to get this onto the plane that I actually want to put it on. And then maybe we hear it going beep 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 a little bit more than we did today. But until then, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Yeah.